Remove and install the B-Class door. This is how to do it efficiently. An organized workplace is key. Keep all the small parts in bulk containers. By the way, the parts you need for the door exchange also come as a complete set. Also select the appropriate model for the decorative foil. When you do the installation and removal of the door in the right way, this will save you time. First step, lower the window about 5 centimeters. Unclip the inside cover of the exterior mirror. Then unclip the cover under the armrest and remove the two screws underneath. Undo the catch hook, unlock and use the tool to lift the dowel pin. Take off the screw covers on the door hinge. Unclip the door liner, start with the speaker. Don't forget to disconnect the Bowden cable and the plug connection for the power window. Now you get access to the other plug connections. Unclip them. Take off the covers over the access openings and the rubber stoppers. To later remove the glass, loosen the screws holding the window two or three turns. Undo the screws that hold the door lock completely. Then slide the window upward by hand. Secure it firmly with tape. Also cover the fender edge with tape. This avoids damage to the bodywork during the removal of the door. Now undo the screw on the lock cylinder of the door handle. Then you can remove the lock cylinder and the door handle. Remove the rubber stoppers and undo the screw that holds the bearing bracket. Go to the inside of the door and remove the mirrors. Pull the wiring harness through the cable duct. You can leave the cable duct in the old door. This will be renewed. The corrugated tube bend remains on the A pillar and is only replaced if it is damaged. Now remove the door module. Make sure to set the depth of the milling tool correctly. Beware of flying metal chips. Wear protective goggles and gloves. Now mill out all nine rivets that hold the door module. Don't set the speed of the rivet milling cutter too high. Otherwise it melts the aluminum and blocks the cutter. Once done you can remove the door module. The best way to remove the window is to lower it and take it out.
With the plastic sealing wedge, unclip the inner and outer sealing rail. Only replace the glass run channel when necessary. Two screws hold the impact element. Remove the element. The rub strip also goes. Bring this and the element into the new door. Before taking off the door, remove the remaining rubber stoppers. Then unscrew the screws on the hinge leaves. To remove the remnants of the microcapsulation, blow out the screw holes with compressed air. Remove the door. The next step is to attach the hinges from the old door to the new one. If you do this correctly, you'll save a lot of time later. Don't screw the hinges tight. This is important for the door adjustment. Screw the top loosely. With the lower hinge, push it all the way up and then fix it in place. The screws that secure the door are micro-encapsulated, so be sure to use new ones. Tighten them with 32 Newton meters. Next, install the new cable duct. This is included in the part set. Replace the rubber stoppers. Then pull the wiring harness through the duct. Make sure that the corrugated bend clips properly into place. Now it's time to set the door. Important, don't make any adjustment on the body side hinges. Adjust the door height with the lower door side hinge. Use the gauge to check if the difference is between a half and one millimeter. Otherwise, reset. Then go to the upper hinge. Here you set the depth. Again, check the settings with the gauge until the difference is between a half and one millimeter. Back to the lower hinge. Adjust the door depth here too and check all the settings. The gap dimension of the front door to the fender and to the rear door is four millimeters plus minus one millimeter. For the typical Mercedes door sound, bring the two insulation mats onto the door panel. Before you apply the decorative foil, clean the area to be glued. At the top, line up the foil according to the perforation and the shape of the door, and attach it. You'll need a felt block. 
This useful aid enables you to glue the decorative foil quickly and without air bubbles. Pull off the decorative foil by hand and simultaneously put pressure on the felt block and smooth it from top to bottom. After you've removed the top protective layer of the foil, continue along the door edges with the felt block and stick down. Proceed in the same way with the decorative foil of the B-pillar. Match the foil at the top of the door according to the form and attach it. Now you can remove the protective coating and smooth it from top to bottom using the felt block. Pull off the top foil, turn the edges and done. Now the door frame seal is next. Start at the upper outer edge of the door. Fix the door rubber near the mirror with the bracket provided. Note, orient yourself to these fixed points in order to fix the rubber around the radius of the door. Use a roller to press down the rubber. Rolling it firmly is the fastest way to do it. The dowel pin fixes it at the edge. Next, install the glass run channel and attach it using a plastic wedge. Before using the wax, put a cover down on the floor. For your own protection, wear a mask, goggles and disposable gloves. Wax the whole inner door fold. To do this, put the hose as far as possible in the door frame. Then attach the inner ceiling rail and install the window. Then fasten the rivet clip of the ceiling rail. For the outer ceiling rail, use a plastic wedge covered with felt. Wax the inner door fold for a second time. Don't skimp on the wax. Attach the rubber strip. and the impact element inside the door. Now you can rivet on the door module and the bracket for the door liner. Mount the mirrors and the door handle. Slide the window down by hand and fix it to the window lifter. Then tighten the latch. When the covers are back on the access openings and the lock cylinder is installed, put on the door liner. Remember to reconnect the plug connections again. Use new retaining clips for the inside cover of the outside mirror. Put the upper one on the cover and the lower one on the door. Then it attaches easily. Of course, check all the settings again and adjust if necessary.
Tighten the hinge screws with 32 newton meters and put the covers back on. Finally, normalize the stop of the power window. Clean the window and you're done. Incidentally, the door exchange for the A-Class works just like the B-Class.